Well, good morning, everybody. Um, out here in the new garage, which, as you can tell, is completely freaking packed. <laughs> um, just literally got a pathway. Um, trying to get a path cleared out so I can get all the lawnmowers and stuff drug out. Um, we had literally couldn't keep up with stuff in the house. So everything got kind of shoved out here in the garage. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's packed. But uh, I might have, uh, the bunk beds that my boys are sleeping on wouldn't fit up the steps. So I got a friend of mine coming to look at those. Uh, I should be here any minute. So I get all this stuff cleared out in front of it so I can even get to it. And then uh, once I get over all these lawnmowers moved, I'm going to go start going through this stuff and whatever doesn't need to go in the house right now is going to get neatly stacked back up in here along this area and uh, then I will start putting the lawnmower stuff back in. Um, we've got the old house completely gutted along with the garage. I've got to get my old shop cleaned out this weekend, hopefully, if everything goes right. So, uh, I gotta make more room anyways. Got way too much freaking crap. Uh, it's probably about 35 degrees, if that, right now. Uh, another thing I'm also trying to find is my staple gun so I can hang up or rehang up some of this insulation that's hanging down. Like that piece over there, there's another piece way back there in the corner. Just some little pieces here and there that need to be stapled back up. And uh, another thing I'm looking for is my battery charger because up until I got these lights working, I was using the headlight off the four wheeler to light the garage up. Well, now it's dead. So, oops. But uh, otherwise, things are going pretty good. Kelly is home. Uh, we are working on things, uh, marriage counseling and everything. So, but yeah, like I said, this has been what I've been doing for the last two weeks is moving and unpacking and rearranging and cleaning. Yeah, it sucks. Um, got the plow on the four wheeler. As you can see, it is lifted up. Uh, don't know how well you guys can see that down there, but, uh, just got the, uh, glass from the winch hooked up to a uh, eye bolt. And the eye bolts ran right where the rod used to run coming up. So, I mean, it is. I mean, I don't know how much juice is left in here, but. That works. It goes up and down. Yeah. As you tell, the battery's pretty much dead. So, I'll at least up high enough off the ground now to uh, get it out of the garage. Um, this tire right here. I think it's got a slow leak in it. I don't know if the bead didn't seal right or uh, valve stem or whatever it is, but it goes flat after a few weeks. Um, still scavenging parts off that Craftsman over there for the John Deere. Did find out the John Deere's got a stuck valve, so it's uh, belts and flames out through the curb. Otherwise, it started. It popped off. So. But uh, this one right here... Uh, a friend of mine's talking about taking it or well, buying it, but uh, we're gonna see if we can't modify that old Craftsman hood to fit this one more. Um, it, this one runs, but the fuel line's busted and uh, needs a battery and flat tires. So I told him to basically pay the parts, pay for the parts on this thing, and uh, help me modify the hood, and he can basically just have it because I got it for free. So. And same person's buying my subs and amps, so I figured I'd give you guys a quick little video, and uh, we'll talk to you guys all later.